This is going to be a quick video that is reviewing the different types of volcano kits available for kids. And then we're going to show you our new Smooth Foam Mega Volcano at the end, and we think you're going to like the features. First off, we'll start with the Smithsonian one. This one says it's for kids, kids 8 and over. This one requires plaster wrap in water, and then you uh, preform your volcano using some cardboard pieces, and then wrap it around. Requires about 24 hours for it to fully cure before you can paint and then do eruptions after that. Second is the Discovery Kids Glowing Volcano. This is really the exact same thing. Height and size, really, it's about the exact same thing. Again, plaster wrap. Takes a while for it to dry. Third, we'll move on to the Kids Labs. This is a mold that you pre-make. You mix the plaster, dump it in, and in about 24 hours, you can pull out the volcano. You can see it's maybe four and a half inches tall, four and a half inches wide. Next, we'll get on to the Ultimate Volcano Science Kit, as well as the National Geographic Volcano Science Kit. This is really the exact same thing, just different packaging. This one is also a mold that you make. Pour it in, let it sit. About 24 hours, it's ready to come out, paint, and uh, erupt. And then we'll get on to our mega volcano kit. We don't use plaster. We pre-mold three pieces that nest together in the box. Comes together, one, two, three. You use a water bottle or a pop bottle, soda pop bottle, as the eruption chamber. Goes together in seconds. It's also pretty tall, as you can see compared to some of these other kits. I'll bring these in here. There's the comparison. Okay, we've got them all painted using the paint kits that come with it. As you can see in the Smithsonian one, it came with three brown and two green. But what we found was it just wasn't enough paint to completely do the whole thing. So we did our best. And then their bright orange glow paint, um, you can see does the little streaks there, but that kind of absorbed also. Next on to the Discovery Kids. Um, theirs came with two brown, one orange, one yellow, one red. When we tried to do the whole bottom in brown, we ran out, so we kind of had to improvise and use red and orange there to fill it in. Kids Labs came with this set of colors, um, but uh, we ended up using just the black, red, and yellow to make it look uh, realistic. The Ultimate Volcano Kit in National Geographic comes with Red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange. So our volcano is red, yellow, and orange. And then our mega volcano kit comes with plenty of paint. Two ounces of the charcoal gray, and then you've got your fluorescent day glow highlighter colors there with the orange, reds, yellows to uh, make it look very realistic. Okay, so I've painted up the volcano using the paint kit that comes with it. Uh, it's got the uh, charcoal black plus the highlight colors to get the lava look. And now I've installed the lava chamber, which is just a 20 ounce bottle. Uh, this one happens to be a water bottle. I've already put in one tablespoon of baking soda. So for the, uh, the eruption, uh, you need baking soda, vinegar, a little bit of red food coloring, and just a little bit of dish soap to get it to foam up. So you can do this over and over again. So I've already added my vinegar, my food coloring, and my dish soap. I'm going to just stir it up a little bit. And then you just simply dump it in and it'll go. Put this back on. There it goes. So there's your eruption. And this should last, because of the bottle, it should last quite a while because it has that bottleneck and quite of a large eruption chamber. Uh, this should go for well over a minute.